a Russian court on Tuesday denied WNBA star Brittany Griner's appeal and upheld her nine-year sentence on drug charges. Griner, 32, appeared dejected as she appeared via video conference from the detention center where she has been held since her arrest in February for a hearing at the Moscow Regional Court. The athlete is now expected to be transferred to a penal colony. Griner's August conviction was denounced by the United States, which said the athlete was wrongly imprisoned. Denying her appeal will shift hopes for Griner's release to the potential for a high-profile prisoner swap. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said Tuesday's decision was the product of another sham judicial proceeding. President Joe Biden has been very clear that Britney should be released immediately, he said, adding that the Biden administration has in recent weeks continued to engage with Russia through every available channel and make every effort to bring home Britney as well as to support and advocate for other Americans detained in Russia, including fellow wrongful detainee Paul Whelan. Griner's attorneys said the decision was not what we expected, adding it could be months before the WNBA star is transferred to a penal colony. We are very disappointed, they said. We still think the punishment is excessive. They said Griner's biggest fear was that there would be no prisoner swap and she might have to serve her entire sentence in Russia. She had hopes for today as each month, each day away from her family and friends matters to her, they said. The attorneys said they plan to use all the available legal tools, especially given the harsh and unprecedented nature of her verdict, and will discuss next steps with Griner. Griner was on appeal, quite pessimistic about the outcome, prior to Tuesday's hearing, one of her attorneys, Maria Blagovalina, said Monday. The WNBA star had hoped there would be a reduced sentence, but didn't think the sentence would be overturned, Blagovalina said on MSNBC's Andrea Mitchell Reports. Griner, a two-time Olympic gold medalist who plays for Phoenix Mercury, was sentenced to nine years in prison in August on drug-related charges. She was arrested at Moscow's Sheremetyevo airport in February after Russian authorities said they found vape canisters containing cannabis oil in her luggage. Griner pleaded guilty in July but said it was an accident, she accidentally took her to Russia and hastily packed for a flight. Medicinal cannabis, illegal in Russia, is legal in most of the US. When she was jailed, Griner was in Russia to play for a Russian women's Premier League team, UMMC Ekaterinburg, as she had done since 2014. Griner's attorneys appealed in August after she was convicted. Her wife, Sherelle Griner, said Brittany Griner was being held hostage. In a statement read before the court's appeals verdict Tuesday, Griner said she did not intend to do this, but understood the charges against her. She said she hopes it will be taken into account that she is, did plead guilty, in the case. The athlete said she hoped the court would adjust her sentence as she described her time behind bars as stressful and traumatic. The U.S. has proposed a prisoner exchange with Russia for the release of Griner and another American, Paul Whelan, a corporate executive who has been detained there since 2018, two sources familiar with the matter said. The deal would include the U.S. releasing imprisoned Russian arms dealer Victor Bout, the sources have said. In April, Russia released American Trevor Reed in exchange for the U.S. releasing Russian drug trafficker Konstantin Yeroshenko, who had been sentenced to 20 years in prison. Reed, a former Marine, was sentenced to nine years in prison in Russia in 2020 after authorities there said he assaulted a Russian police officer after a night of drinking. Reed and his family have maintained their innocence.